Welcome back everyone for physical exam, physical diagnosis two for the buccal pharynx examination. During this examination, the skill sheet that you have been provided with demonstrates and talks about uses of a light source. We'll be using an otoscope or you can use a pen light with a tongue depressor. You're going to inspect the patient's lips, then inspect their gums, their buccal mucosa, teeth, tongue, posterior pharynx, and tonsils. You will ask the patient to lift their tongue to examine under the tongue, as well as have the patient say, ah, to elevate the palate, checking for cranial nerve dysfunction. Buccal examination, looking into the mouth, remembering your grip pneumonic of greet, establish rapport, introduce and identify, explain the procedure and ensure privacy. You're going to be using an otoscope, speculum, possibly a pen light, a four x four gauze if you need to move the tongue out of the way, using a tongue depressor, and because you are gonna be operating around the patient's mouth, wearing gloves would be a good idea. The patient is seated at the same level that you are, just as we did with the nasal examination. The graphic here demonstrates the different ways that you can go through looking at the teeth, the lips, the buccal mucosa, looking at the palate, the tongue, tonsils, and uvula, as well as looking under the tongue and using a 4x4 to pull the tongue aside to look at the lateral aspects of the tongue in image H. Remembering that we're using our primary tool of the otoscope, remembering its pieces and functional parts. Our examination again is going to be assess the mouth angles, the lips, the skin, the mandible and maxilla on the right and left hand side, looking at the buccal mucosa, the gums, inside the oral pharynx, you're gonna be looking at the mucosa, the tongue, the teeth, the tonsils, the uvula, and the hard palate. Posterior pharynx can be commented on for erythema or cobblestoning. These ideas will be discussed further during lecture. Examination of the neck can happen at this time with palpations of lymph nodes left and right as well as the submandibular glands bilaterally or this can be done during the examination of the neck when palpating for other lymph node structures and the thyroid. When we are doing our exam, this is what a normal exam will look like. Note the condition of the patient's tongue, their teeth, the presence of the tonsils, the midline uvula, and the posterior pharynx. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking a look inside your mouth. So if you could open your mouth for me. And I'm looking at the teeth, the gums, the buccal mucosa, the tongue, the tonsils, the uvula, and the posterior pharynx. So now, could you say ah for me? Ah. Uh... Thank you. You will note that the physician during that exam notes if he has equal bilateral elevation of the soft palate when the patient is saying ah.